Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Here we are in Ybor City, Florida, outside the Columbia Restaurant, which is the oldest restaurant in Florida. It's also the largest Spanish restaurant in the world. And it's rumored to have one of the best Cuban sandwiches in Florida. We're gonna try it out, so come take a look. Ybor City is a historic neighborhood just northeast of downtown Tampa, Florida. It was founded in 1880s by cigar manufacturers, and it was populated by thousands of immigrants that were mainly from Cuba, Spain, and Italy. And for about 50 years, hundreds of millions of cigars were rolled here. It's also the spot of many historic things, such as this, the 1937 Anti-Fascist Women's March. And speaking of fascists, um, maybe they could organize again for someone who's currently in charge of Florida. But uh, I, I digress, I digress. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's now known for its boutiques, vintage shops, and chickens that run the streets freely. Crazy, you can just walk around. There are chickens running everywhere. But uh, there's museums and, and food places and, and all kinds of, uh, of fun, cool things in Ybor City to do now. Um, but we are here at the Columbia Restaurant, which is right here. And this is the largest Spanish restaurant in the world. It's also the oldest restaurant in Florida. This place is huge and it's beautiful. There, I mean, there is so much detail and stuff to look at in this building from, I mean, you can just see there on the outside, but when you go inside, even more details. I mean, art and vases and uh, china and different mirrors and lighting fixtures and all kinds of stuff. And we're going to take a quick run through here. This is just one of the rooms. Uh, there are multiple rooms. This place is a maze. You can wander through all these different hallways and find your way around. But but the, um, the restaurant is, um, it's about 52,000 square feet. It seats 1,700 people and takes up an entire city block. That's how big it is. It is huge. I tell you, it is huge. And uh, like I say, as you can see here, when you kind of just wander these halls, they've got all sorts of photos and things from the history of, of what's happened there. Um, lots of large dining rooms and areas where you could have special parties and special events and be, uh, you know, in your own private little section. And there's a huge bar here that, that sits out where they serve all sorts of, um, of special house-made wines. And, um, and all the rooms are themed differently as well and have a different, uh, a really different look to it. Um, they've got all kinds of little statues and stuff in, inside this room in little, little cubbies. Um, here's another one, another large room that's uh, a couple of levels that you can be upstairs or downstairs in. Uh, this is a huge, like, almost ballroom or meeting room or something. Uh, very, very cool there. And uh, they also, like I said, have these, um, these custom wines and uh, there are coolers. You'll see these coolers all over the place as well. Uh, just stocked with wine um, when you walk around and look at the the details you're gonna see like art and plates and wall hangings and fixtures and just a lot of uh, a lot of really cool detailing of things uh, I mean look at look at that those floors and those walls it's amazing um, walking in here here's another little private room that uh, is uh, you know just so cool the way it's decorated but Anyway, enough about the building. You can just go on and on and on. Let's take a look at the food. There is lots of food. Um, and like I said, all sorts of uh, drinks, specialty wines, family wines right there. You can see um, there are sangrias there. I mean, any t sort of drink that you want. Lots of different soups, uh, ensaladas. There are different types of... Um, the 1905 salad is is very popular lots of sandwiches um steak sandwiches and um meatloaf sandwiches and things like that uh there's chicken and pork and crab meat and scallops and calamari and different types of fishes and this this is just the lunch menu 
this is only the lunch menu. This doesn't even have like all the dinner stuff on it. So lots of stuff to pick from. Now, they start you out with some nice warm Cuban bread and butter. And man, this is made just down the street at a bakery just down the street. And uh, it's made fresh daily and man, is it good. It is so good. Now, we started out with empanadas. And look how nicely those are fried. This is a, that's a nice brown fried, crunchy, crispy outside. And then when you crack it open, look at that. All that moist meat and onions and peppers. So good. It, these are these are so good. I highly recommend these. But we were here for the Cuban sandwich because we heard they have one of the best Cuban sandwiches in the world. Uh, mine came with a Spanish bean soup, which is garbanzo beans simmered in smoked ham, chorizo sausage, and potatoes in a uh, chicken broth, and add some hot sauce to that. Really good. The Cuban sandwich is... Um, it's just like they made it back in the 1890s when the cigar ma uh, makers made it. It's uh, salami, um, mojo marinated roast pork, uh, cheese, Swiss cheese, pickle, mustard. And it's the exact same uh, measurements of, of food that they, they used in the 1890s. And uh, not bad. Not bad. Would I say it's one of the best in the world? Uh, but it was good. Also connected to the restaurant is the Columbia Restaurant Gift Store. And in here, you can get some of that cool glasswork and uh, uh, different types of plates and kitchenware and art. And just look at all this stuff. Some of this stuff is really, really beautiful. Um, they've got different crosses and crucifixes. They have some of their private label wines that you can pick up here as well if you like the wine in the restaurant. There's some of it right there. Also, some of the coffees. They've got uh, an American roast here. Also, a um, espresso roast coffee that you can take home with you. Um, and these little bull creamers are hilarious, although I don't know why you would get cream from a bull. But it's funny. <laughs> There's salad dressings. Um, sangria mix, different uh, hot sauces, things that they use in the restaurant, uh, as well as some cookbooks from the Columbia restaurant where you can try some of your own Spanish cooking. And sticking with the history of all the uh, cigar rollers and all that, you can get some, some, uh, some nice fresh cigars hand-rolled right there. Uh, so that is just kind of an overview or look at the Columbia restaurant in Tampa, Florida, Ybor City. Definitely worth going to check out. There you go, that is a look inside the Columbia restaurant in Ybor City, Florida. Was it one of the best Cuban sandwiches in Florida? Eh, it was good, but not quite as good as the one that we featured in another video on this channel on the East Coast. Go look up that video to find out more about that. Really, really good. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.